Welcome to Breakfast Club, bitches. <laughs> Who's donkey of the day today? Well, donkey of the day for Tuesday, May 2nd, goes to the current lieutenant governor of North Carolina, Mark Robinson. He's also running for governor of North Carolina. Good morning, Mark. You know I love the Carolinas. I'm Carolina all day, South Carolina to be exact. Uh, so North Carolina is our cousins. So it disturbs me when I hear someone from home talking crazy. And Mark Robinson is indeed talking crazy. See, there's a lot of conversations happening nowadays about reparations. Uh, I'm a person who believes that pessimism never wins any battle. So even though I know this country will never, ever pay black people what they owe, I speak optimism because we all know one of the greatest sins of this country was the slave trade and atonement is needed in the form of reparations. Even Donald Trump acknowledges black people built this country and we just starting to get the credit for it. Listen. African Americans built this nation. You built this nation. You know, you're just starting to get real credit for that, okay? I don't know if you know that. That's right. You're just starting to get, you built the nation. That's right. We all built it, but you were such a massive part of it. Bigger than you were given credit for. Does that make sense? It makes right? all the sense in the world. And don't just stop your credit. We'll take credit, cash, Bitcoin, EBT, and the credit is great, but until there's some financial compensation, that credit is as worthless as an NFT. Now, Mark could make history as the first black governor of North Carolina, a state that is almost 67% white and a little over 21% black, but he's a Republican, so he don't really give a damn about any black votes, okay? The Republican Party in North Carolina is 89% white, and I was looking at some stats from October 29th, 2020, and North Carolina had about 7.4 million registered voters and their partisan affiliation was kind of equally split between three parties, Republican, Democrats, unaffiliated. It's 34% Democrat, 30%, 36% unaffiliated, 30% Republican, about 0.7% registered to another party. Notoriously red state, so Mark probably feels like I'm Republican, all I need is these white folks, but imagine if you can get majority of the white Republican voters to vote and, you know, play a little identity politics and get some of the black people to vote for you, too. Sounds like a good idea. Well, Mark don't care if you Negroes vote for him, because if he did, he wouldn't be saying things that would turn Negroes off. And one thing that turns black people off is any talk against reparations. But not only is Mark against black people getting reparations, he thinks we owe. I can't make this kind of stuff up. Let's listen. Mm some people that were talking about reparations in this country. They wanted reparations. Nobody owes you anything for slavery. If you want to tell the truth about it, it is you who owes. It's you who owes. Because somebody in those fields took stripes for you. Somebody after those fields were ended and slavery was ended. Somebody had to walk through Jim Crow for you. Somebody fought wars and died for you. Those folks on the Edmund Pettus Bridge. Carrying American flags, take that, Colin Kaepernick. Living in a society that he could scarcely acknowledge. Something that he has never known. Living with a bigotry that none of us can imagine. Carried American flags on that bridge. And when they were hit upside the head with nightsticks and shot with water hoses and knocked to the ground, they got up and picked those flags up and kept marching. And they did it for you. Mm. Nobody owes you anything. If anybody owes, it's you. Come on, Riley. Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina, Mark Robinson, ladies and gentlemen, feels like black people owe reparations. That was Riley Freeman from the Boondocks booing, and I'm glad we used that boo because what in the Uncle Ruckus is going on in North Carolina, okay? Good it don't matter if North Carolina is a red or a blue state. If Mark Robinson becomes governor, you can guarantee it won't be a black state, all right? All those things he spoke on, you know, the people who fought during civil rights, the brothers and sisters, civil rights marchers who went through the hell called Bloody Sunday for us to get a sliver of freedom. Um, They're part of the reason we are owed, okay? Yes, we owe them, but not the way this country owes us. And we repay them for fighting for what so many of them came to want, and that is reparations, okay? Mark Robinson telling black people that we owe reparations is like when your parents used to tell you they were beating our ass for our own good. No, okay? You did nothing but cause me trauma, trauma that I ended up unpacking in therapy later. The nerve of Mark Robinson to say we owe reparations because we benefited from the freedom. I got freedom in quotation marks, okay? Air quotes, all right? You know, free-ish. Okay, a new alt-slave drama brought to you by Kenya Barris coming soon to BET+. Plus. I mean, oppression of black people 100% still exists, right? When black people are imprisoned at exceptionally high numbers, uh, more likely to be arrested for nonviolent offenses. I mean, we make our case for our citizenship every day, make our case for our humanity every day. There is still a system of white supremacy in place that causes us to make cases for our survival every day. I mean, when you are still being denied opportunities because of the color of your skin, it's kind of hard to tell me that I owe. 
All right, that's like getting sex from a hooker. She gives me an STD and then, you know, asks for gratuity for the gonorrhea. Okay, mm-hmm. Mark Robinson said <laughs> we should be paying because there were people that fought for us and took beatings and, you know, got hosed down and lost their lives for us to be free. Those people were majority black. He couldn't be talking about white people, could he? I mean, there were definitely white people out there marching with black folks during the civil rights movement, but they were marching with us to free us from the oppression of <gasps> white supremacy. Keyword white. Okay, Mark really said black people owe reparations. We owe, okay? The white people should get paid for what their own people did? Huh? Look, in basketball, there's no such thing as the same team foul that I know of. Okay, last time I checked, if Steph Curry fouls, Klay Thompson, LeBron doesn't get to shoot free throws. So why do we owe for what people did to us and caused on themselves? This is what happens when you speak to management and your people are indeed the management. Please let Remy Ma give Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, you stupid mother are you dumb? All right, clearly it sounds is. like an articulate Herschel Walker. Good God, mm-hmm. y'all can keep that one. Y'all can keep that one. That is just beyond control. And don't be messing with reparations because I'm getting two checks of one in my man name and one of my woman. Do not mess with reparations, man. <laughs> right. Don't be messing with my checks. Oh, it's so interesting that you mentioned Kenya Barris. I met him at the red carpet of You People when he did You People. Okay. So let me tell you what's so strange because being an older trans person, I'm, I'm not on the defense because I've lived my life. I know people are just see you. So when my publicist went up to him and said, um, Flame would like to take a picture with you. He looked, because I was about as far as Charlemagne is for me now, and he mm-hmm. looked, but the look on his face was, maybe he didn't understand or he wasn't sure. And she says, well, if Netflix invited Flame to come to Peru. So it gave him a pass, and so he brought me over. So I could have taken that uh, one way and like, oh, he was on the defense. Or, but I said, he said, uh, did you enjoy the movie? I said, oh, I thought the movie was great. I said, you could have called the movie Frankenstein because he said, huh? I said, because what Frankenstein's moral was, Frankenstein was never the monster. He created the monster. Mm. You showed us that America has created this mm. monster of racism and hate from all aspects of life and I love mm. that you turned him in. he said that is a great analogy in mm. those two minutes of talking to him he went from looking at me like he didn't understand until he put his arm around me and he embraced me and the body language said it all is that I taught dope. him it was pretty dope it sense. was pretty great dope, so, dope, so dope. Mark Robinson wants us to he wants us to pay for a monster America created Exactly. Yeah, I exactly. Get it. I get it. All exactly. Right. Well, thank you for that donkey today, Charlemagne. Yes, indeed. Hee haw, hee haw, Mike Robinson. In my deep voice, hee haw. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. 